Babe, I've never been camping before. Do you want to go camping? Yes. Seriously? Yes. Let's go. Let's get everything and bring it on the table. Too much stuff. I think we brought too much stuff. Well, we technically haven't brought it yet. I think we just kind of piled up too much stuff. And you're not touching beans. Don't even try. We, we can put back your guitar first. Beans is like. Beans is beans, and what do you eat at a fireplace? Hot dogs and beans. Get it? Beans. <laughs> So yeah, camping really just isn't my thing, but my wife loves camping like I love Krispy Kreme donuts, and yeah, I'm a Krispy Kreme fanatic. But if I were to go camping, these are a few items that I personally would bring. Maybe they're not for everybody, but they're super affordable and super helpful. You're also going to notice a trend. Every single one of these items that I have picked out for this video has a very similar characteristic, so keep an eye out for it. Let's start with a few things from Alluratech. Now, Alluratech makes many different accessories and many different items, ranging from things that you can use around the house to things that you use outdoors to smartphone accessories. And this is the Powerlight Multipurpose 10,400 milliamp hour rechargeable flashlight with a built-in USB rapid charger. Blech, that's a lot of words. So on one end, like you just saw, you have the flashlight, which can be activated with a couple press and holds of the power button. Then on the other end, you have a steel spike, which is is actually used for breaking a window if you're in trouble or someone else is in trouble and you need to get to them. So how is that useful for camping? Well the thing is strong as an ox and can take a beating. You can whack the piss out of this thing and you don't have to worry about it breaking. So if you need to chip something off or pound something in you can definitely use that little spike on the end and then right next to it you're gonna find a razor blade which is super sharp and you can pretty much cut a piece of rope or anything else that you fancy kids like to cut during camping. So if you screw off the head of the flashlight you're going to find the actual ports located on this thing which include a standard USB plug and that's used for charging your phone or whatever it is you're charging and then a micro USB plug used for charging the actual battery in this. So yeah, a rechargeable flashlight that charges your phone. Awesome. The next thing kind of looks like a mortar launcher or a lot of inappropriate things and this is actually another safety device which does feature a lot of the same things that the previous item had. This is the 4-in-1 emergency vehicle safety tool and of course it does feature a steel spike just like the previous item however this one is much bigger and you can actually use this thing like a hammer. It also features a larger razor blade so you can cut larger pieces of rope or larger pieces of tent material again I don't know anything about camping and it also has a 5200 milliamp hour battery. Popping off the top exposes all the ports necessary for getting use out of that battery so again you have a standard USB plug used for charging whatever phone, a tablet, or device you want to charge and then a micro USB plug used for actually charging the battery within this. So of course both of these come with standard USB to micro USB cables. The 4-in-1 emergency tool actually includes a car charger as well. You're also going to find a different style of flashlight. It's like a elongated bulb and it's still LED so it's super bright and has a standard flashlight effect. It has emergency flashing lights in red and blue in case you're in emergency and then it has like a strobe light effect. This features a magnetic lid so you can mount it to a metal object and continuously have light at night. While the power light features a waterproof design so you don't have to worry about it getting submerged. Each of these retail for 60 bucks, but for a limited time you can use code OT for tech and get 20% off your order. The details are found in the description of this video. So when I think about camping, I think about water and just lots of water pretty much. And for that reason, I'm going to need a waterproof case because of course I'm going to bring my phone for emergency purposes and to stay up to date. So the first thing that comes to mind is life proof, right? No, wrong. Mango. Mango is actually pretty much exactly like the life proof free, except it is a fraction of the cost. Now the life proof retails for about 80 or 90 bucks, whereas the mango comes in at $30. And for more information on this, you just check the description. It will take you over to their website. It's available in four different colors. Plus you get more stuff like two microfiber towels, a headphone jack extender, an extra O-ring, a lanyard, and an extra mute toggle switch. The lightning port is protected by a little cover or door that clips into place. And it also has a gas 
gasket right there. Of course, the same thing can be said about the microphone and the speaker, and even the gasket covering the headphone jack just screams life proof. However, the mute toggle switch is different. Instead of it being like a little switch, it's actually a circle and you dial it. Just be careful not to dial it too hard because I did break my first one, which is okay because they include an extra. Now, the screen clarity on this thing is actually amazing and it's much better than the life proof free that I used, and it doesn't have those weird air bubbles like the life proof free did or those weird oil marks. Touch screen sensitivity is on point, 3D touch works flawlessly, touch ID works flawlessly, so no worries. And it is waterproof up to five feet for 30 minutes. However, some people just don't quite understand you can't use your phone underwater or if you have a lot of water on your screen. It's lightweight, it's thin, it gives you great protection, great grip, and it just shows you how much life proof is overcharging on their products. Next up, we have the Mango Aqua Cube. And just like the name suggests, this thing is waterproof. It's made of like a rubberized design, giving you some great drop protection. And most of all, it's super portable because it's so small. It features a three watt speaker, which like I said, gets incredibly loud for something in such a small package while maintaining that waterproof form factor. And yeah, this is definitely something that I would bring on my camping adventure so I can listen to some tunes around the bonfire. It does pair up using Bluetooth 4.1 and it can be submerged for three feet for no longer than 10 minutes. Now on one side, you're going to find a little flap covering the micro USB port used for charging this thing and battery life has actually been great, giving me almost two days of use using it on and off throughout the day. They keep it simple with the buttons. You have a power button, a play, pause, and answer a phone call button, and then you have a skip and a previous button. And with the microphone right there on the side and then an LED notification light right there on top for pairing purposes. Coming in at 30 bucks, this thing is super affordable and packs premium sound in such a small package and definitely on my top five list because I can't live without my music and sometimes I just gotta shut people down. Lastly, we have another product from Mango. I know what you guys are thinking. I'm mangoed out, but you really need to check out their website because they have tons of affordable stuff and it's just awesome. This is the Mango S Power 5300 milliamp hour solar backup battery charger with dual USB ports and it comes in different colors so you don't have to get the camo one that you see here. And again, just like the other items, this is water resistant and it's also shock resistant because of that rubberized material that it's made of. It's pretty damn cool if you ask me. And it will charge your device with the sun and then charge the built-in battery using the sun as well. So once the sun goes down, you still have power. It has an LED charge indicator light. When exposed to the sunlight, the LED indicator will turn green, signalizing that your S Power external battery is absorbing the sunlight and it's being charged. You also have a little tiny flashlight right there. It doesn't get super bright, but if you just need to light up something within your tent, you're good to go. The ports included are two standard USB ports and then a micro USB port so you can actually charge this using the wall. You don't have to use the sun if you don't want to. And they do have flaps that cover them, keeping it water resistant. So why do I need all these chargers? Well, here's my way of thinking. If something were to happen, I get attacked by Yogi the Bear or zombies rise up, I can use this solar power charger to charge my other two battery chargers and boom, I have endless power for days. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. It does include smart charge technology, which means that it's going to charge your device pretty damn quick. It's not super quick like we've grown to expect from turbocharging, quick charging, and fast charging, but it's faster than your standard charging. So if you guys like the video, make sure you drop me a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, follow me on all my social media connections, and um, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. But for now, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to uh, pitch a tent right here and do some camping of my own base. <laughs>